This is an icosahedral model made up of icosahedral subclusters. Here is the subcluster. As you can see, it has 12 corners. The corners connect 20 triangular faces, and the faces themselves are joined by 30 edges. Here is another representation of the same subcluster. It contains a central, small atom surrounded by 12 closely packed larger atoms. The cluster itself can represent a supercluster of clusters, or by extension, a supercluster order 2, 3, 4 to infinity. So here we have a model that is infinitely extensive, that is uniquely aligned, and that is uniquely icosahedral. We call this the logarithmically periodic solid, or LPS. Now, whether the LPS is an approximant for quasi-crystal, and whether the quasi-crystal is a defective LPS, are two considerations that are less significant than the fact that, with this model, we've been able to calculate some new physics. First of all, the diffraction. The calculated diffraction beam intensities from this model match experimental values very well indeed. The diffraction pattern is logarithmic, like the model. Here's an example of one diffracted beam calculated from as the scattering from 100 million atoms in a supercluster order 6. And it follows a new Bragg law in which the quasi Bragg angle differs from the classical Bragg angle in crystals by 5%. We've calculated also high-resolution res electron microscope images. You see the circle of 10 spots? Dimensions show that they represent 10 subclusters. And what we're observing here is a cluster. Here's another cluster, and here's another, and here's another, and here's another. What we're seeing here is a section of a supercluster modelled on the right where the black pentagon is a mirror image of the white pentagon on the left. We've calculated other things too. The model is logarithmically periodic. The electron block waves are logarithmic or quasi-block waves and we've plotted here the electron energy bands based on logarithmic quasi-block waves. We've considered other issues as well. Because the icosahedra share edges, not faces, the two-dimensional tiling consists of closed dodecahedral surfaces that uh, exist inside icosahedral structures. And we've calculated many other physical properties, which are referenced on this webpage, quasicrystaltiling.us, and also described in these two books. Quasicrystals, 2D tiles in 3D superclusters, and quasicrystals and quasi-drivers. The driving force is the dense icosahedral subclusters. Now when you discover logarithmic periodicity in one part of physics, you expect also to find it in other parts of physics.